Venom. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. This gigantic box just got dropped off at my house today from my good pal Chris at Treehouse Collectibles in Toronto. Inside this box contains a playset from an action figure line that I adore so much. And for whatever reason, the stars haven't aligned. I've never come across it. Or the ones I've seen have been destroyed. They've been broken, missing parts. A lot of parts. The stars have aligned. And it's here, finally. I've wanted this for so long. It is here. 1985 Mask Boulder Hill playset. Mask is such an incredible toy line. Where do I even start? You take Transformers, you take G.I. Joe, you take a little bit of James Bond, you mash it together, you have Mask. If you guys don't know what Mask is, please just search it on YouTube. It's one of the greatest toy lines in such an amazing cartoon. The Boulder Hill playset is the gas station that turns into a battle station that is actually the headquarters for all the agents of Mask. Going back to 1985, what an incredible year for IPs. There was so many toy lines, uh, so many incredible toy lines. Mask came out on the heels of Star Wars ending by Kenner and it exploded. The one drawback Mask had while some people say it's the scale, I, I love the scale. I have no issue with that. The one drawback, I would say, Mask is a lot like Lego, where it's very, very expensive. You know, a little tiny vehicle and a little character cost a ton of money. So that being said, the Boulder Hill playset was astronomical. And to this day, it's still astronomical. Mask toys not only are expensive, but they still to this day hold all their value. To get a complete mass collection, you're, you're talking. I, I don't even want to talk about how much it's going to cost. I've waited for this day for a long, long time, my friends. Come on this journey with me. Help me unbox one of my childhood grails, the Mask Boulder Hill Playset. this box is enormous uh, it's put together very well it's made of several boxes um, I don't actually know which way we're facing so bear with me and as we can see ladies and gentlemen it has the box. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, here. Oh. Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, about 10 minutes of removing some stuffing. We're getting to the different pieces here. Oh, guys. Oh. Wow. I got to give credit where credit is due. Because this could not have been easy to ship. Another reason this playset is so rare. Uh, because it's, it's extremely fragile. And you can see how many pieces are here already. The deck here is the most fragile piece on the playset, so I'm trying to be very careful removing it. But there is the main deck plate for Boulder Hill. So this here is incredibly rare, the Boulder Hill box. I've wanted this piece of art in my collection for such a long time. We're gonna do a close up a little bit later when we do the review of Boulder Hill, but we can see that it's actually autographed by Santa to Jerry from Santa. I love that. The personalized message, this must have meant so much to a kid back in the day. 
and I I can't tell you how much that means that's just a piece of history right there the smaller parts of Boulder Hill oh <laughs> oh the jail we actually have the boulder another platform great shape the stickers a little crooked but the sticker is actually in really good shape you guys understand how much I wanted this playset as a kid and as an adult collector probably more as an adult collector we actually have oh my god Chris I love you oh my god oh, oh my god Oh, look at that art. There's little games too. There's a maze that uh, hasn't been done. There's a word search and this is, this is it right here. This image is burned into my brain. And I remember this here, the Boulder Hill picture. First of two figures. So we have Alex, of course we have Buddy his removable helmet as well in front of the station now that everything has been cleaned up with boulder hill it's time to put it together when i started to put boulder hill together i realized that there were some parts missing from it so what did i do i called my good buddy brahm down to heroes comics him and I had a conversation a few months ago about a boulder hill that he got in that was a little damaged and not complete. So I said, hey bro, can I do a curbside pickup, pick up the lot of parts you have and try and complete my boulder hill. So that's what I did today. I got a few key pieces which we'll go over, uh, but I was really, really happy with that. The one piece um, here is the roof. Now this is the original one that mine came with. And for whatever reason, when this guy goes on top, with the three other walls um, it's very tight it didn't fit too right so the gas the gas sign here kept tipping over so this was actually one of the parts I had to replace was the roof and I got a few extra walls as well so the three extra walls of Boulder Hill so I was actually able to upgrade the stickers okay let's take a look at that iconic box art from Boulder Hill we can see first right away we have the just epic mask logo and the top left Boulder Hill playset, and of course, Santa Claus autograph to Jerry from Santa. I love it. This artwork is just gorgeous. It is painted, but it's painted and modeled after the actual toys, which is really cool. We can see we have Alex in the turret. We have Buddy and Gator there. Hmm, I where Dusty is. And then in the bottom left, we can see that we have the service station what it looks like and then the transformation and the defense mode here but this art is just gorgeous it comes with a comic book inside which mine does not have and of course we see Alex and Buddy that it does come with on the bottom right there we turn it we can see some original old school 1985 tape here and this is very classic Kenner very Star Wars where it's almost like kind of like a blueprint ish artwork of Boulder Hill you can see some it's showing off some of the features there and around the back side there again we have an actual to scale Boulder Hill playset so this is actually the size of it the size of the actual figures too as we can see Alex right there and again more or less the same but this is the actual toy and then that side here just some more tape I've kind of taped it shut just to keep it secure and on the top looks like so and on the bottom we just have more of the play features as well overall the mask packaging is some of my favorite in all of toy collecting I think it's they're just gorgeous the color schemes the way the art is designed it's just absolutely fantastic I am so proud to have this box in my collection also with the part slot from heroes I was really really lucky enough to get 
a second box but not just any boulder hill box this is the bilingual one as we can see we have english and french this is the canadian variant Now, before we take a look at Boulder Hill, we have to get to the two figures that come with the Boulder Hill playset. So we need a couple agents suited for this mission. Buddy Hawk, master of disguise, intelligence expert, firecracker co-pilot. The first one is this guy. This is Buddy Hawks. Now, for anyone that's new to Mask, the scale is quite a bit smaller and we can see there is a ton of paint applications and detail. The one big thing the Mask figures get knocked on is the zero paint detail on the face there. So we can see Buddy, uh, we can see his features, but they aren't highlighted at all and his eyes are just kind of, you know, painted flesh color. It never really bothered me as a kid and it doesn't really bother me now. So although Buddy does come with the Boulder Hill playset, he is often seen as a co-pilot for Firecracker, for Hurricane, and of course later on he gets his own vehicle called Wildcat. Now skill-wise, Buddy is of course the master of disguise, the intelligence expert, and the auto mechanic at Boulder Hill. Mask figures have seven points of articulation, so the head turns left to right. We're only just gonna do it for Buddy here because they all have the same articulation. Uh, the arms move up and down like so, and uh, the legs bend up, and the knee bends in like so. Buddy comes with, of course, his faithful mask, which is this guy here. This is called the Penetrator. It just goes on, slips on, nice and secure like so, and he is ready for battle. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert, Rhino Systems Commander. Next up we have Alex Sector, and once again Alex does come with Boulder Hill, but he is often seen, uh, more times than not actually, uh, in Rhino is the co-pilot and the computer specialist of Rhino there alongside Bruce Sato. Alex has also been seen as the Firecracker co-pilot as well. His skills, computer engineering, science, and chess. And Alex was always one of my favorite characters in Mask. I just think he's so cool. He's uh, very witty, very charming, and uh, love the accent. Alex Mask is, of course, Jackrabbit, this guy here. Just slips on like so. And I think it's one of the cooler masks out there. Now let's start with the headquarters, not transformed, just in its regular Boulder Hill gas station mode. Up front here we have the two gas pumps. Um, as you can see right off the bat, I'm missing one of the stickers there. Um, I have really considered getting replica stickers. I, I don't usually do that. But uh, for Boulder Hill, I think you want it to be... Uh, 100% complete and it really adds to the playset. Uh, we can see here to the front window is missing one of the panels there, a sticker as well. So these of course turn into the cannons. These guys just flip up when it's time to transform and they become uh, really cool guns. There's also a mechanism we'll take a look at that moves them back and forth. The front of the gas station's got some really nice sticker detail to it. We have kind of the mirror finish almost of the glass uh, the reflectiveness coming off we see a champion and an actual stp sticker there the space used in the front here as well can be used to fill up an actual car with gas we can bring matt tracker and thunderhawk in and he fits there quite nicely by far the hardest to get parts of the boulder hill playset are the uh, the gas hoses here that attach uh, mine, of course, is missing those. I'm on the hunt for them. If you guys know anyone who has them, let me know. Moving around to the side of the playset, we can see that we have some more of those awesome stickers. Uh, we can see a cash register and an actual Pennzoil sign, which I think is really, really cool. Um, we have some molded on detail here of a fire extinguisher and then another sticker for the employees only entrance to the gas station. That leads us to the platform here where we have the garage with another sticker. And this platform here has a manhole. This guy opens up like so. 
and you can drive any mask vehicle just right in. Da -da. Or Thunderhawk can come out. Now we're around the back side of the playset, and we can see that there's an actual ton of room. Uh, and lots of stuff for your figures to do as well. You can see Buddy just hanging out here in the garage area. Alex is kicking it. Let, let's start to look at some of the features. And we'll start with this guy here. And this is the jail cell. So this guy is open on the top. Because as we'll see later on, the, the roof opens up and your Venom character just drops in the jail cell here. So that guy just opens up like so. Real simple. And there's some nice computer kind of stickers. And there's a little console here for Alex to work on or tracker, whoever you want. And I'm really lucky that these stickers are still intact. So that's the cell. You can actually put it anywhere. You can set it here. But the spot it's supposed to go is just in the back. So we'll put that to the side for a second. Let's take a look at that deck plate here for Boulder Hill. Okay, we've got a ton of molded on details here. I don't even know what all this stuff is. I'm not going to pretend to know. But again, we can see all the nice details actually molded to the actual deck plate itself. The, the piece on Boulder Hill that is most often broken is this deck plate here, the actual floor, because the entire playset lays on it. It's not unlike uh, the pieces for the flag, the deck plates for the flag. It's, it's almost identical, but it's much more flimsy. And a lot of times the examples of Boulder Hill I've seen, they've been cracked and kind of glued together. So this piece is extremely fragile. So be very, very careful when you're putting the playset together. That being said, again, let's check out all the molded details. Uh, it's just so cool, even the checkered floor pattern up here. There's just so much love put into this playset, and you can tell by the design. Okay, let's head down to the final side. There we go. And we can see we have a couple stickers. One on, I think that's an air pump right there. Yes, of course, it says air right there. And one right here. 30,000 mile radials. We have a molded on ladder that leads to the top of Boulder Hill, as well as we have the big gas station sign here that also turns into a turret. Let's take a look at the top of the gas station sign. Mine was put on backwards. So the stickers are reversed as we'll see when we transform Boulder Hill. So that's why I have this piece of tape right here, because as we can see the clip is accidentally on the outside. So whoever owned this before put the solar panel sticker on the wrong side and the Boulder Hill gas station sign on the wrong side. I tried to take this off and as you can imagine this is rock hard and it will just shatter. Another reason I want to get some reproduction stickers. The actual hill itself is really really nice. It's all brown plastic with no paint but it's got just a ton of molded on detail. There's of course the boulder that uh, does come off and, and we'll see that function very soon. We'll turn the playset a bit and you can kind of see how the boulder goes around all the way to the back side like so. And there's a little kind of hidden ladder there. Keep turning it. Speaking of the actual hill, one of the flaws of the playset we can see right here that it clips into the roof and because there is so much pressure on the walls and on the actual hill itself the roof has started to cave in so consequently you're getting a little bit of bowing here and on the roof and sometimes this is why i had to change the walls out why i had to seek out an extra wall because mine was coming out so far that the actual gas station sign for boulder hill was popping out of place and it was falling over. And again, this baby is over 35 years old, so what do you expect? Prepare for defense mode. The first thing we're gonna do to transform Boulder Hill is go around to the back of the playset like so. 
There is this blue lever in the back as well. And what we're going to do is just push that forward and boom. Next, the front of the gas station actually comes forward. Just pull that down like so. Wham. Now, if we go around to the back to the black lever, we're actually just going to take that lever and push it forward. And it comes through the front and there is another front cannon. Next up is the station sign cannons. So under normal circumstances, you would just pivot this blue stick here and the gas sign would pop down like so. But because mine is put on backwards because of the stickers, I can't do that. So like I said, I have to remove the tape, which isn't nearly as cool, but you get the idea. So it would just kind of go like so. And then you can turn the turrets and move them side to side. Next, we're going to bring the steel shell out. And to do that, we need to go around to the back. Now, I don't know if it's just my example or not, but this guy makes one heck of a screech. So you just take the lever and pull towards you. On the back side of the playset, right underneath the actual mountain itself, we see this little lever here, which will activate the boulder and the turret. So we just turn. The top of the roof, we have the helicopter pad and the trap door here. Now I was going to use Miles and put him in prison. But the problem is because of the structural bending of my particular roof, it doesn't really work too well. But there's a lever on the side right here and you would just push it and he would fall down into the jail just like so. The verdict. I've waited a lifetime to get this playset, and now that it's in my possession, I can say beyond the shadow of a doubt, it was worth the wait. Boulder Hill from the Mask Line is one of the greatest playsets of all time, in my opinion. It's in the top five for sure. There are so many play features, there is so much imagination that you could use with this playset, so many little gadgets and gimmicks that pop out really fun to collect a fun fixer upper because there's so many different parts that need to be uh, acquired there is only one flaw i can find with boulder hill and that's that it's extremely extremely fragile almost every single part uh, is easily snapped again it reminds me of the uss flag from gi joe Age definitely hasn't helped, of course it's made the plastic more brittle, but you want to be very very careful when you're purchasing one of these that uh, you give it a good once over and you examine all the separate parts. That being said, the Boulder Hill playset and the Mask Line in general uh, have such a special place in my heart. They will forever remind me of my mom. And with that being said, thank you for your final gift mom. I, I love you and this video is dedicated to you. Until next time, guys, take care.